day eight on the Scott Cam sofa. Hello everybody, my name is Chris Pritchard. I'm a track sprint cyclist for Team Scotland. So, um, yeah, proposed. Um, proposed to my beautiful uh, now fiance, Amanda. Um, I don't know if anybody saw it, but it was um, it actually got broadcast live on TV, which was pretty cool. Um, finished my race, had the ring hidden. Can't tell you where it was, but you can use your imagination. Um, made my way up to the stands and um, caught my mom's eye on the way up and she she obviously knew what was going down because she started crying straight away. Um, brought Amanda out to the uh, the stairs on the stand, popped down on one knee and uh, she said yes, which was pretty cool. Uh, since I've stopped competing, I've just been hanging out in the village, um, mainly hanging around with the sprint boys, so Jonathan Biggin, John Paul, uh, Callum while he was still here. Um, Probably the funniest thing I've seen in the vi <sighs> probably yeah I don't know if I should say this uh, but someone I don't know who it was they um, flipped John Paul's mattress up um, took all the slats away from what where his mattress lays uh, laid it back on it and when he got back in bed last night he uh, he fell through his bed which was which was hilarious. Hello everybody um, and welcome to the show. I'm now joined <laughs> by uh, Jay Pierce and uh, media mogul. Would you say? Guru. Guru. Hi. Hi. Just introduce yourself. Hi. It's great. So, so um, basically what we were just talking about was uh, funny anecdotes from the uh, from the village. Have you got any? Um, yeah, you tell the story about Louise and her hat. Okay, so a couple of the sprinters went to um, dinner hall last yesterday. Um, Louise must have been really tired. She had a bobble hat on and she brought a bobble down over her eyes so she could just get a few um, 40 winks I think the term is so she was sat there she fell asleep like this and everybody around her slowly sneaked away and left her there for a good 20 minutes which I think is pretty impressive that you didn't wake her up yeah exactly yeah and then yeah they all went and hid behind her 20 minutes later she woke up she was embarrassed she didn't know what to do so she just sat there and then we all just laughed at her stupid girl Go! <laughs>